let's talk about smart cities and how we can apply things like blockchain to a smart city. Dr. Sebastian, the mic is yours. Thank you very much. Hello, Dean Dobre, good morning. Uh, before uh, you will see my presentation and my speech, I'd like to underline one important thing. The speech will not be about the blockchain and even will not be about the smart city. Will be about something tangible which really changed the life in a modern intelligent city. Let's start. Sebastian Grabowski, partner of Domestic Cloud Operator, expert Polish Chamber Information Technologies and Telecommunication, and at the same time president of Architects PL Foundation, Guinness Record Holder. Sebastian, now the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Sebastian. Now, it, in fact, the floor is mine. Hello, again, Jim Dobre. Uh, he forgot about something because as well, since in fact September I set up my dedicated video blog on YouTube to promote concept of smart cities. Thank you very much, Sebastian. <laughs> you are my fan. Thank you very much. You know? <laughs> Guys, uh, I will speak about the topic which is quite, quite, I think, obvious and popular on the world. Future smart cities and communication standard using blockchain. What is important? Cities of the future are described in a completely different manner. I think that this part of the room will say, okay, smart city, there is a place where happy people live. This part we sell probably the smart city is the place where there are a lot of intelligence, infrastructure and sensors. And this probably will disagree with those two parts and say, no, smart city is just my city where I have beautiful highway, beautiful tram and train, and I don't care about anything around the city. The truth is that all of those definitions are correct. There is no one definition of the smart city. And on the one hand, we are discussing about the definitions, about the strategies, over here, even when I saw beautiful stands, stages presented by Abu Dhabi, Dubai, etc., everybody is speaking about the smart city and smart technologies, which changing completely the way of, percep of perception and definition of the smart city. How it looks in the right and correct way. Wherever I see and whenever I see, all of cities have the same problem. The problem of multitude of smart solutions already implemented. If the city is advanced, there's always the same problem. Cities is combined as one big bucket of different verticals responsible for different solutions. It means you have water management part, you have energy management part, you have mobility management part, you have as well the green management part. It means that in each kind of vertical, you have completely different systems, completely different standards. And the problem is that if you are living in the one silos, you don't want to speak with other silos because you are the best. And <laughs> on the world, well, whatever you touch, there is exactly the same problems. And there is a problem with infrastructure. However, there is another problem which is completely unmanageable application. There are thousands of applications. Even when I try to expose what is happening in Warsaw, there are at least 20 different applications used by the inhabitants and used by the city to improve communication, to improve, let's call it participation model, to get inhabitants be closer to the government, etc. There are thousands of applications. 
And war is the biggest nightmare in each hand of the mayor and president. How to manage it? How to create something which will be common, which will be simple, which will be democratic? How to do it? You don't have a choice. You should have something which is on top of apps, on top of hardware, on top of infrastructure, which really facilitate the life in a modern intelligent city. And I think that the answer is in the good, perfect, prepared blockchain. Why? Because if you are taking something which is the best in the blockchain part, like security, democracy of the access, different way to connect to the same standard, it means that you can cover all of problems we have around the world. Especially you are creating something which is the modern intelligent. And in fact, everybody would, would like to be in the top, not in the tail. How it look like? That is the service I would like to share with you because it is unique. It is probably the first one tangible in a place real, the case of the blockchain. That is probably something which is unique, which is unique on the web. That is the architecture already implemented in Poland. In a moment I will show you where it's already implemented. However, how it looks like. It looks exactly like that. Maybe it's so detailed, however, I hope you will see the main part of a block of this architecture because it's real, it is tangible. Above you will see IoT world. That's why we are naming the service Blockchain Internet of Things because it's joining two areas at the same time. You have Internet of Things and you have Blockchain, which can, which can be combined together and finally you are hitting exactly this architecture. All of your applications managed by something which has experience around the telecoms or the strong partners from the city. In the heart of the system you have nodes, 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 blockchain nodes, which are in the probably the most advanced and secure environment. Because my partner, domestic cloud provider, Hmura Krajowa, is responsible for that. What is very important and uh, worth it to underline is that this part is managed by the most trustable partner in the Poland, which is using, by the way, Google Cloud, which is completely flexible and ready to adopt on the web. API orchestration, of course, because you should have something, some common interfaces to create application, to create another nice dashboard for the dividends and for the government and Claire as well. And Karuma, the partner of the cities, which in fact is the software company as well as the integrator company for Polish city. Currently, I hope in a moment we will be as well here. City application that you can just open the gate, open the barrier. You can just open whatever you want because the small token on, a, on NFT is giving you the chance to have digital unique key which can open and access whatever you can imagine. And dashboard, city, dashboard. Why need dashboard? Because the service is created for cities. It means that the CTO or CIO or the, or the guy who is responsible for the service would like to set up some rules, would like to give some privileges to pass over the key to the servants, to the driver of the ambulance, etc. For a moment, or in a moment, you will see how it works on the movie. I think it gives you the vision of the service. It looks like that if you, whether you can take as well the photo. What is important, as I told you, it is not the fake case, it is not the fake service. Currently there are three cities in Poland. I hope first, in general, Warsaw, capital of Poland, Kołobrzeg, the one of the most beautiful places in Poland, in my Polish city. I think I invite all of you, by the way, to the Poland. It's amazing, by the way. Kołobrzeg and Olsztyn. Olsztyn is the heart of the Mazurian region. You will see a lot of forest, that's why probably maybe Gates is not so perfect for this place. However, the mayor of the city and marshal responsible for the region is really open, innovative guy. In those three we have current development project, we are developing it. For the moment you will see as well mass scale of this implementation. And there is a movie which shows you how it works.
The case is that our partner in Olsztyn was Polish Science of Academy and they measured that because of the implementation of the solution in the city we are speeding up to get a sick part, a patient just to give him uh, just to give him some help. How it works? You are generating the digital key, the ambulances and driver has the dedicated application, blockchain application, and city is just passing through this app, this digital key, which is treated as a real one. And the ambulances cannot ring any bell, doesn't have to call to anybody. It's just going through all the all the city just to get the guy who really needs the help. And the service looks like that. Many times when people ask me, there is the future or there is current stage of the development of the amazing service. And I will tell you there is now. Its future is happening now. So I invite you guys to the stage of my colleagues responsible for the solution, for the blockchain, ski network, as well as the Karuma S, because I'm currently today representing domestic cloud. <laughs> I'm speaking too fast, guys, you know? I'm almost empty, sorry for that, you know? <laughs> you can ask as well, meet me, I will just give you much more deeper knowledge that I share with you. The future is now. This movie was recorded after the, after the big announcement in, in Poland. It showed you not only one case for the city, it's giving you the vision how the service could change modern, intelligent, Life! And it looks like that. Thank you very much. If you like it, Sebastian Grabowski, please, for a little bit clap for me. I will be much more confident. Thank you very much. Go, 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 go. Somebody plugs this guy in in the morning, doesn't he? All this energy. Sebastian, a couple of questions. First, you did talk about blockchain and smart cities. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you said you weren't going to do that. Yes, but I would like to a little bit rise your patience, you know? <laughs> what happens if there's no power? Oh yes, nobody will clap. Yeah, no, but really there's no power. That whole smart city but, idea collapses. Yes, right? but probably if will be no power, everybody, everything will be collapsed. Yes, right. that's, uh, that's human should be smart, intelligent as a member of the smart city community. Just curious, and then how do the APIs work? So if every one of those areas had different zones of security, how do you have trusted zones so no bad actors get involved in I think there is no zones, you know, that is very important. There is no zones. API we are using just to expose some information to manage application and give some certain information to the mayor, to the president, to the guys who are responsible for IT, but as well for the partners to create another application because I didn't mention, because there is no one app. Each app can use it and be the part of the system. And would you want to go government top-down? Top-down plus, plus inhibitants, people who love to create applications. And any corporate, corporate or government partners do you have now? 
currently cities. cities. Cities, we call it as a government partner, because in the Warsaw has over 2 million inhabitants, it's not so big in comparison with other cities. However, there is this local city government who partnered this initiative. Why so, so much innovation is coming out of Poland lately? What's going on? You know, I don't know. There is. By the way, I'm the PhD. Maybe we have something in our head to be innovate. We have to fight them all. I'm sitting here way. over here with Robert, what he's doing with the giant scanner. Have you seen that yet? No, no, unfortunately, yet. You, you got to see it. You're wearing the right clothes. You can't wear black or white. You know, I tell you because we are handsome, that is the first thing <laughs> why intelligent. That, there are so many guys over here. Any so questions? Boy. Because I think this is a very important topic. All right, then I'm going to drive one more question, and that is. Where do you see this as? What you just showed us, you showed us a lot of digital, uh, Tesla you showed us, you showed things that are already enabled. What happens with legacy systems? How do you create a smart city with legacy? Because most cities I think legacy. it is just integration, you know. That phenomenon is that we don't change the legacy systems. On top of that, we created the standard, which you can use on top of legacy system. That's why each discussion we have with CIO, CTO of the city, First, in the first feeling, oh my goodness, I will not change it. Second step, okay, I can do it, because it is very simple adaptation of some standard, blockchain standard, by the way, which you can download it from the page. It just works. And in Polish, it's dziękuję, which means thank you, so let's all say it. Dziękuję. Thank you very much. Dziękuję. Thank you. Thank you very much.